Okay, in this video, I'm just going to review how to paint the walls again, but also how to split the walls because you're going to have situations like this where it's going to paint the whole wall if we try to paint this, where if this is three separate offices, we want to have potentially three different colors, maybe different accent walls for them. So what we're first going to do is I'll show you how it kind of works in terms of the painting tool. So you're on modify, you go to the paint tool, it's this little circle going onto the square, the circle means the material tab. So up's going to come all of the different things that you can paint on a wall. So you're, as you work through projects, it's going to get more and more stuff in here. Uh, one of the things you can do to quickly kind of um, filter this is literally type in the word paint. Since I've been kind of doing it and demoing, they're popping up here for me and they're kind of slowly filling in the, the icon. So in this case, this kind of teal color will show up really nicely. So if I pick this one and I cl click on the whole wall, there's that whole teal. So I don't necessarily want that to happen. Um, I'm also going to do an example over here just so you can see this one later on. So we're going to click that wall in purple. So this is theoretically somebody's office here, right? So they might have a different color here than the person here. So in order to um, divide that up, we need to use the split command. So it's this button right here, it's basically a square with a little blue square inside of it. Kind of looks like an old fashioned camera to me. If you click on that, um, you then need to click on the wall itself to split it. Now watch what your mouse does as you kind of roll around here. You're going to see different icons pop up. That square is really important. That's like the uh, the same icon that we had for CAD for snap tools. And this means it's it's finding basically the juncture of where different materials or your floor and your wall are going to meet. So it's really important to make sure you have that little square. One thing that can be tricky is to see if I roll it over. That's the, the other side of the wall in the other room. So if I were to go from there to over to this corner, it's not going to work. I'll show you that quick just so you can see how that works. So what's happening is that line's actually going diagonal. So if I try to now click the green arrow, see how I'm getting, I'm going to get an arrow on that. Oh, wait, no, let me do it. <laughs> of course. I'm like, oh, CAD, you're so special. All right, a rabbit. So we're going to take that away for a minute. But let's start from the beginning so you can see it done correctly. So we're going to hit the break tool here. I'm, I'm sorry, the split base. So again, it's the square with the blue. Um, in my case, again, we're going to click this wall. I want to go from this corner here in my room to straight up. And then see how then it's turning into that square. It means it's found that juncture and it's nice and a clean break through that wall. So we're going to click the green arrow for OK. Um, so now if I wanted to paint, say, this room a different darker color, if I go to the paint command, um, uh, here's the paint here. It's the circle into the square like that. It's going to take a second to come up. All right. So in my case, I think I want to do, let's see, one we can see nice. All right. That's different. This peppercorn. Can't see it here on the screen because it's still loading, but it's like a, a grayish brown. I click that. There it is. So I broke this wall or split it right here. Now I want to split it here. So if I wanted this room to say be the teal, I'm going to now go back over to split faces, click this wall. And now again, my juncture is right there. And I want to go straight up with it. And then I'm going to hit escape to kind of get out of the drawing portion of this. And then I click the green arrow to finish the edit mode. And now this wall is split not only here, but here too. So if I want to go back to that teal paint, I can get the um, paint command, have that load up again. Let's see, there it goes. All right, so it's the rivulet. Is that like teal? If I click it there, there you go. So that like it's starting to work for my offices and you're going to work your way through and then depending on your layout let me sort of spin around here you're going to have oh, I didn't really spin very far did I I gotta go this way let's see do, 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 do. keep going here you're going to have to do the same with this wall here you're gonna have to divide that up one thing I want to show you that's a little quirky with rabbit is so this is kind of just like a dummy model I set up um, there's no floor here yet. There is floor here, however. So if I wanted to split this wall, you might see kind of a weird error if you're still sort of trying to fill in your walls. If I click here, um, see how it's just it's just not finding the bottom here. Partially what's happening is if I exit out, um, there's some weird gaps happening here. Let me go back to this corner here. Um, if I kind of angle myself in, see how there's like the floor is here, but then there's a gap and then there's a wall. So Revit is having a hard time kind of understanding the math of where this um, where this all meets basically. Might work from this side. Let's see if we can do it from here since there is kind of an end point here. Yeah, see it's still not quite getting it. So 
Um, usually what we have you do in class is you put in your flooring. We're kind of doing floors and walls all together in class. Put in your flooring, then split your walls. And you're going to be able to find that basically juncture of where the two things are meeting. So if like if we go in back to this one here, uh, let's see, let me shimmy it a bit like that. So like this wall whoop, over here, this we should be able to split pretty well. So let's try to do this right now and see. So like, cause see how it, it can read the floor there and I can go up straight. And so it understands that, um, you know, there's the walls and the floor have a meeting point there in the corner and it makes it easier for it to split it. Um, and again, this can be a little fluky. So if you need some help, just let me know. But in general, make sure your walls are in, pay attention to that that pink icon that you actually have like a solid basically snap to those corners too.